Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the winner and in today's Grand Theft Auto 5 video I'm going to be doing a very popular video that I do every time a new DLC for Grand Theft Auto Online is announced and that is I tell you how much money you're gonna need to save up in order to buy everything within this DLC and I'm gonna be doing the exact same for this Grand Theft Auto Online free mode update. Now before I get started this one kind of has a twist because it looks as if Rockstar isn't going to be providing any new purchasable content with this update, which has been a question I have received a lot on Twitter, in my comment section, on forums and Reddit. I've seen people wondering, well, what's coming else with this DLC? You know, we're so accustomed to cars, vehicles, weapons, clothing, uh, that it's just second nature to assume that it's gonna be coming with a Grand Theft Auto Online update. But in today's video, I'm actually gonna be telling you that none of those things are coming and it's actually been confirmed by Rockstar, so let's jump into it. So you could definitely tell something was up just by examining the Newswire post that was featured today. Uh, they mentioned a few of the free mode activities and adversary modes, but definitely mentioned nothing about new free mode content. Then if you jump over to the trailer, you'll notice that there is no new content that was added as well. No new vehicles or clothing or weapons that they showed off there. So even if they were trying to sneak something in by not telling us on the Newswire, they didn't show anything off uh, on the trailer. And also in the screenshots featured on websites like Kotaku and IGN, there was nothing. No new clothing that we were able to identify, no new weapons, obviously no new vehicles. And then Rockstar confirmed it themselves. They actually posted on their social club because a few people had asked. Uh, they said to such and such and others asking about new cars, clothes, and other items. We're definitely working on more vehicles amongst other things for you to collect for future updates. Please make sure to stay tuned here at the Newswire for more information about that soon. So you heard it straight from the source, and if that wasn't convincing enough, they reached out on Twitter and responded to someone who asked about cars, and they said, we'll definitely have more cars, clothes, and other items in future GTA Online updates. So it kind of seems as if this update is more of a one-off update and not something that we are going to see continually throughout the life cycle of Grand Theft Auto Online. It seems like Rockstar wanted to make the pure focus of this update on the new free mode events and not have everyone distracted by new clothing, weapons, cars, guns, whatever the case might be. And I don't blame Rockstar for one of two reasons. One, I think that these new free mode features are a huge thing for Grand Theft Auto Online if they work properly. We'll find out in a few days if they really do. I think it's the biggest new addition to the game since heists were added in terms of scalability. So I think Rockstar wanted people to focus on uh, the aspect of one, not getting distracted by other toys and trinkets that you find within other Grand Theft Auto Online updates like cars, clothing, guns. I pretty much listed everything you can get within a normal update. And speaking of a normal update, I think Rockstar listened to the community. And as much as we enjoy things like ill-gotten gains and the hipster update, which is the standard tattoos, guns, cars, clothing, I think they listened to the community and saw, you know what? Let's change it up for a little bit. Let's throw a curveball. And if this update is awesome and has a great community response, I think it's going to be a home run for Rockstar. The only issue is if it flops and people don't like it, there's no fallback of, well, hey, at least we got a new sports car. We got a new off-roading truck. You know, we got a nice new LMG. There's no fallback for this. If the free mode features suck, to put it very like brutally honest, which I don't think they are, I think they're gonna be lots of fun, especially, like I said, if they work well, if you can just jump in a lobby, go get into a free mode feature. But if they're not very good, I can see this being a huge backlash, like I said, because there's nothing to fall back on. So to answer the underlying question of how much money you're going to need for this update, I'm really not sure because it's a free update. The free mode features aren't going to cost you anything. Rockstar have confirmed there's not going to be any new vehicles or guns or clothing. So unless they add something like sneaky into this update that certainly costs money, which is kind of atypical of them, something you wouldn't expect for Rockstar, this is going to be one of the few and first updates that cost you zero dollars 
to participate in everything, which is very exciting. One, for uh, a few reasons, it's not gonna cost you money, and two, it's not gonna cost you any in-game dollars, which is exciting for those of us who have saved up our money. And of course, Ill-Gotten Gains Part 1 and 2 were the most expensive DLCs ever, so I think Rockstar is giving us a little bit of a break as well. So I really do want to hear from you guys in the comment section down below. Overall, what do you think of this update in terms of the free mode content that we're going to be getting? Are you disappointed with a lack of cars, guns, clothing, weapons, whatever the case might be? Or do you think it's a nice, new, refreshing change? Definitely let me know in the comment section down below. Once again, if you guys did go on to enjoy the video, a like rating would be awesome. So please hit that thumbs up button for me. And of course, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new or you like daily Grand Theft Auto 5 videos like this. With all the way, guys, like I said, thanks for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.